So what does Hainault Forest mean to me and the residents? It's a fantastic place to come, a safe haven, and we found that out through the pandemic, that this was a place which our residents flocked to. And I certainly come here in that time between Christmas and New Year's, the whole family, even our dogs, and it's a great place to visit, great place to be. It's just paradise here in Redbridge. Shidrad, project manager for Buxton Building Contractors. I'm in charge of the management of the project. There's been various challenges on the project. We had to do a lot of propping because the buildings are that old that they are generally quite unstable. So the old brickwork was built um, using lime mortar, therefore there's no cement in it at all. So they basically stay up on weight. But back in the obviously 1800s, that's what they built with. Um, when we built the new buildings, we would be using the same process of lime mortar with no cement, so it matches the existing. My name is Nathan Jongitz, I am site manager for Blakedown Landscapes. We're doing this uh, landscaping to this project. Most of the project is here. This place here is going to be a public area, like sitting. It's a long path by the gates and the fence goes to a huge, big play area. My name is Yeva Leunaita and I am the community forest ranger at Hainault Forest. What I'm personally excited about is having a first-class volunteering and event programme uh, here on the forest uh, to be able to provide opportunities for training, for being outdoors, for helping out with the management plan um, on site. As well as that, I'm excited for the new indoor facilities that will be available and the opportunities they will provide the wider community through it. Our volunteer sessions are very varied and change week to week depending on what needs to be done on site. These can change between tree planting to forest management. As well as this, when the farm opens, volunteers will be able to be on site, helping the staff take care of the animals. So the changes I'm most looking forward to seeing actually is around the partnership. The Woodland Trust and London Borough of Redbridge both own half of the forest each. But there's a real opportunity now, you know, in a time where we're facing a twinned biodiversity and climate crisis, our UK wildlife has never needed us more. So what an amazing time for the two organisations to come together and really make a difference. It's a fantastic opportunity. It's an incredible site, it's full of history, it a, has a story of people coming together over centuries and full of future prospects with our tree planting that we've got going on here. And we've got 24,000 trees being planted right now. It's a, it's a melting pot of social history and conservation history. So it's a, it's a place where we can bring people, wildlife together for the benefit of both. The changes I'm looking forward to is the, the fact that we can regenerate, we can pick up new ideas, we got the, the barns being renovated behind me. We got the new visitor center. And of course, the money will really uplift the forest. A little bit of regeneration will mean that the forest itself will deliver more for the residents, particularly future generations, children, schools, who will come here and really be able to enjoy the wildlife which is here on offer. <music> 